students forget these five crucial concepts when studying for standard maths, so don't let them cost you your HSC. Future and present value tables will show up in paper two when calculating annuities, so it is important that you know how to use them. Most students lose easy marks by picking the wrong row or column. So Yeah, and especially with that rows and column, if it says monthly rate or monthly something, make sure you times the period by 12 and make sure you divide the rate by 12 as well. Same if it's quarterly, just divide by four and times by four respectively. So double check that your time and rate match the table. And when using the formula, make sure that the right value goes in the right place. The sine and cosine rule are key for solving bearings and geometry questions, but knowing when to use them is the tricky part. Only use them when you have a non-right angle triangle. Use the cosine rule when you know two sides and the angle between them, and use the sine rule for all other cases, but you must make sure that the side and the opposite angle match. Understanding maximum? Yep, um, especially for trigonometry. It's just pattern recognition. A lot of people struggle with it because they haven't done enough questions. If you do enough questions, you just recognize, well, recognize that like cosine is the cone and it has the two sides and the angle. You'll get it pretty easy. Understanding maximum flow and minimum cuts are so important in multi-mark questions. Be careful not to confuse the cut with the bottleneck and always remember your minimum cut maximum flow rule. Yeah, I, I, mean, I top this day. I had no idea what bottleneck means. Um, but yeah, max flow does equal minimum cut. So good stuff. The least squares regression formula is used to make predictions in data focused questions. You need to know how to use the formula by identifying the y-intercept and the gradient and then substituting in y or x. This is so common in exam papers, so be confident when using the formula. And finally... Yeah, and especially with that y equals mx plus b, the, the b or the y-intercept can be in front or behind the gradient and the x. So just be aware of that. Make sure you know what you're kind of looking at before you go into the test. Z scores, which is where we see so many students making mistakes. You have to make sure to correctly convert the raw score into the Z score by subbing it into the formula, but make sure you use the right values. Then you have to make sure to convert the Z score into a probability by using the table that you're given. So tag a friend who needs a math reality check before it's too late. Yeah, honestly, Z score probability questions are pretty cooked. Like if you don't practice them, you're kind of <laughs> you mess for the HSC. But yeah, everything was pretty accurate. Honestly, you'll get the marks if you do the practice. If you don't do the practice, you're not getting the marks. Follow for more content like this.